Do you guys know that some of the most groundbreaking innovations were created by Muslim women? Yes, these same women that Western media tries to tell us is uneducated and oppressed. Well, if you didn't, or you did, I'm here to talk about Muslim women innovations you probably haven't heard of, and I'll be talking about it while I do my makeup. Not to be dramatic, but if you told me that in 10th century Spain, a former enslaved Muslim woman would rise up to be chief librarian and mathematician, I would think you were crazy. But in fact, Lubna of Cordoba was a real woman who was born as a slave and became a scholar under Caliph al-Hakam II, who emancipated many slaves, including Lubna. And she worked her way up to manage a library of over half a million volumes. And in the process, she preserved scientific works and was renowned for her expertise in mathematics and poetry. Now Lubna learned many languages and translated numerous manuscripts, traveled around the Middle East, and her legacy is so profound that in 2019, a street in Cordoba was named Lubna the Scribe as a testament to her lasting influence to society and her contribution to Spain and academia. Now Lubna's story is not entirely surprising considering that shortly before her, a Moroccan woman in Fez, Morocco invented the world's first degree granting university. I'm talking about Fatima al -Fahri and I made a video about her, which you should totally watch. And she founded El Karawiyin in 859 CE. Okay, now as an astrology lover, I wish more people knew about Mariam El Astrolabi or El Jalia, I think is how you say her name, which is her birth name. And this lovely lady was born in Aleppo or modern day Syria in 944 CE. And she's credited with perfecting the astrolabe or the ancestor of the GPS, which was used to guide travelers, astronomers, and even help determine prayer times. Now she came from a family of astronomers and engineers and she had a background in astronomy, but it was essentially her crafting of the astrolabe, which inspired modern day technology in Europe and across the Islamic world. And her complex creation helped develop timekeeping and navigation techniques. And she was only recently really recognized in Western like popular astronomy by a guy named Henry Holt, who named a main belt asteroid after her in 1990. Now it's crazy how Islamophobes in my comments are so quick to say that Muslim women are oppressed by Islam or the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, when even during his time, Muslim women were performing surgery and innovating care units. In the seventh century, Rafaida al Islamiyya was the first Muslim nurse and one of the first surgeons recorded in history. Now Rafaida trained other women and she invented the first documented mobile care unit, which influenced dispensaries that were used to treat people during war and eventually things like ambulances and care center on wheels essentially that you see today. Now this next woman's story is very special to me because my mom is really good at math and I'm talking about Suteta El Muhammili. Sorry for butchering the name, but she was born into a family of scholars in 10th century Baghdad and she was famous for her math Mastery of algebra, especially as it pertained to Islamic inheritance laws, which was a field that required solving complex equations to ensure fair distribution of estates. And what really set her apart was that she was able to basically build solutions for a class of problems, not just individual problems. And when judges and scholars in Baghdad had a hard time figuring out like what they should do, they would go to her for guidance. And her expertise was so widely respected that she was even authorized to distribute legal opinions or fatwas that blended her mathematical and legal knowledge. Now, although few of her writings actually survived, her reputation actually endured for centuries and she has been praised as a genius. And her work influenced the development of both algebra and legal mathematics in both the Islamic world and through the translation movement, the European world as well. Now prove me wrong, but the long list of revolutionary contributions by Muslim women don't really suggest that Muslim women are oppressed, but maybe that's just me. Anyways, I'd like to end this video with some modern Muslim women breaking new ground. And I'll start with the Iranian American engineer, Anusha Ansari, who became the first Muslim woman in space and the first private female space explorer, which means she's the first woman to explore space without any government backing. In 2006, she traveled to the International Space Station and she is a tech entrepreneur who continues to make waves in the world. You go girl. Now you might be saying, well, she's American. Of course she has more access to opportunities than other Muslim women. Well then explain Dr. Hayat Sindi, who is a Saudi scientist who co-founded Diagnostics for All, creating affordable medical tests for the world's poorest communities. And she's also one of the first female members of the Consultated Assembly of Saudi Arabia. And she credits her strong foundation in self-belief 
to her culture, family, and faith. Doesn't sound very oppressive to me. Now, despite these incredible innovations by Muslim women, I completely do recognize that there is oppression within Muslim societies, and I wholeheartedly condemn that. That said, I wanna end this video by highlighting a team of Muslim girls who, despite oppression and war and issues in their country, have been able to do incredible work, which they have been awarded for internationally. And that is this robotics team of Afghan girls who have competed internationally with their designs and have built award-winning robots despite the problems and tribulations in their country. All right, now that is all I have for you guys today. I am just finishing this look off with some powder. Let me know in the comments of any innovations that I haven't mentioned that you know about. And don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, all sources in the comments.